Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. <laughs> How are you doing? We are fine, sir. As you can see, I'm not here alone. I'm here with your teacher and uh, a professor, Professor Bums, from the Ministry of Education. Please put your hands together for him. Um, Professor Bums is from the Ministry of Education. And he's here to prepare your minds towards the upcoming state academic quiz. Put your hands together for yourselves. Um, over to you, sir. Uh, over thank you, you very sir. much. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Yes, nice to meet you. How are you all doing? We are fine, sir. Yes, as you've heard from your principal, I am Professor Bums, a.k.a. Encyclopedia. Thank you very much. Yes, as you can see with me, in my hand is a symbol of excellence. An award that will be going to the brightest student who will emerge as the winner in the upcoming state academic quiz. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I am here to briefly and briskly bring to your knowledge. Good morning, sir. Principal, good morning. Young woman, you are late. Why? I'm sorry, sir. No. You see, I asked you are late. Why? And she said she's sorry. Is that the right answer to the question? No. Good. Now, young woman, I will ask you again. You are late. Why? Okay, sir. My house is far from the school. So when I was coming, I was hold up on the road. No. That is not good enough reason. What happens to waking up early? What happens to taking a bath early so you can beat the time? But I said I'm sorry now. Nah. No! That is not a tangible reason for you to be late. Don't tell me you're sorry. Now, I will ask you again for the last time. Hmm. Okay. Young girl, you are late. Why? Because I'm the best student in this class. <laughs> <laughs> How? Eh uh -huh. I'm good and good things take time. <laughs> Close your mouth, dear. Eh, uh, so sorry, sir. So sorry, sir. Uh, I will handle that, eh? Oh, yeah. Go that way and go kneel down. Go there. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I, I like this one. I like you. You're smart, huh? I don't know. Anyway, let's play a game. I will ask you three simple questions and if you get them correctly you will not serve your punishment and you'll be awarded a scholarship from the state ministry of education is that okay okay very good but if you don't answer my questions correctly you will serve your punishment and you'll be disqualified from participating in the upcoming state academic quiz. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Now, what is the square root of 76? The square root of 76 is 8.7. Hmm. What is the capital of Japan? The capital of Japan is Tokyo. Okay, what is the relationship between Coulomb's law and Lenz's law? You see, I thought as much. The answer is nothing. But I did not say anything now. Nah. No, 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 no. That doesn't count. You're late. You're, you're late to school. Go, go and save your punishment. Uncle Professor, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> okay, go on. And if you not answer this my question, you stop being a professor. You resign for Ministry of Education. You announce my school as the winner of the quiz. And I will not serve my punishment. <laughs> Young girl, what makes you think I cannot answer your question? Mind you, I am Professor Bombs, aka Encyclopedia. 
As far as life is concerned, there is no question that is beyond and above my intellectual capacity. I do not know. Bring it on. Principal, if this uncle did not answer my question well, I was going to win the quiz. Okay. That means I'm the winner of the quiz, I'll take this award to my house. Then I'll not serve my punishment again. No. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, please, uh, let's just let this one slide. Let's just forget about this thing. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Sir, sir, there, there, there's a way we handle... <laughs> I will oh. have you know that I am a certified professor. Okay. I am the AKA Encyclopedia. I am an intellectual colossus. Okay. Please, bring it on. And to please go live on Facebook so that the world will bear me witness. Okay, I'm live now. Okay. Yesterday, I used a knife to tear the chair in my father's parlor. And my father saw me and asked me, why did I tear it? And I said, I'm sorry. Then he did not love me. Why? Uh... Well, uh, probably because you were remorseful. No. Uh, um, because he's your father. No. Uh, uh, so what is the answer? Because I was holding a knife and I know how to use it. <laughs> it's common sense. <laughs> My people, we have won the quiz, As you win out this date, we want to take your break tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll see you in school. <laughs> no problem. Okay, bye. Uh, you can go. You know only encyclopedia is aka us for dictionary. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you know that agreement is agreement. And as it is now, you have just uh, lost your job. <laughs> uh, and we don't have a mass teacher in this school. So in case you are interested, you can uh, apply <laughs> in person. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, I hope you got uh, this last part on camera. Hey, so I'm sorry, sir. Wait, wait. You mean you didn't get this part on camera? Um, I'm very sorry, sir. Hey, you didn't get this part on camera? I'm very sorry, sir. You are fired! Hey, <laughs> Sam, rubbish! Oh my god, I'm finished, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm very fun, Makenji Comedy. See you next Friday. Please subscribe to Makenji Comedy YouTube channel. Look, let me tell you, if you are in Nigeria right now and you're a youth, please don't allow anybody to tell you go and start that, go and kill, go and uh, destroy. That we all want to get revolution, and that the only way we can get revolution is by you and causing trouble. No, we cannot get revolution with that. The only way we can change is if we be the change. And then we should set good example for other African countries to learn, for other parts of the world to learn by obeying the law. There are ways we can agitate. We have been agitating and we are going to get what we want. But let us not cause trouble. Please do not cause violence. Do not be part of violence. There is no result in violence. No result at all. Don't allow anybody, whether it's a politician or a businessman or somebody that is angry, to tell you to go and cause trouble. I have lost friends in this whole thing that has just happened in the past weeks. I have lost friends. I have even lost a cousin. And I want to say, everyone that has lost, I may God give you the fortitude to bear your loss. Do not involve yourself in any kind of violence. Our neighborhood right now is ongoable. It's by God's grace that we are even able to make video because we can't go back to our neighborhood. Just yesterday, there was a military uh, 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 plane flying over our roofs. We don't even know. Guns everywhere. Pa, 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 pa. And people are still stubborn, coming out and challenging army. What is wrong with people that are even challenging army? Please, I'm begging you, don't allow anybody to use you. Don't allow anybody to use you to cause um, harm or to go and loot or to go and scatter something. Please, we can protest. We can, we can get what we want by being uh, obedient to the law and doing it the right way. Peaceful protest. Peace is the only way to go. No violence. Please. See you next Friday with a new video. Don't forget that Monday is a throwback Monday on Mackenzie Comedy. See you next Friday with a new video.